Good evening, everybody. Hello. We are here at the South Point Hotel and Casino. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to try out the Garden Buffet. Yes, it's going to be an updated buffet. This is uh, May 2023. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Now, we've been here uh, last year was yes. the last time. Yes. So we're going to see an updated review and yeah. see how it is. Yeah, and we, we like this buffet. Yeah, hopefully it's, it's as good price. as you remember. Yeah, good price. And so let's go check it out. Okay. Here's the current price for the Garden Buffet, and on the right is the Players Club prices. But we are here for the regular dinner. And how much is that one? $25.95. $25.95. Look at, go. we're never here for the seafood night, but I wonder how that is. I'm not sure. It, it includes the weekend, right? two glasses of wine. Yeah, that's, that's pretty the weekend. good. Yeah. Let's start out at the seafood Let's station. Let's go. See what they have. They have white cheddar macaroni, red beans and sausage, brown rice, cauliflower with hollandaise. That's a little bit different. Tuna casserole. Oh, wow. You don't see tuna casserole too no. much these days. An herb crusted trout. Oh, that's interesting. Um, baked cod with Rockefeller sauce, fried cod, and friendly fries. Oh, there's your fish and chips right there. Yeah. Baby potatoes, spinach, and bacon, salmon with Thai curry. <laughs> Shrimp cocktail, assorted sushi, and the stuff that comes with it. All the soy sauce, pickle ginger, wasabi, ceviche salad. It's a little bit different. Now, cocktail uh, sauce and tartar sauce. I have to say, that is a weird color, uh, wasabi color. Yeah, it is. It almost looks like uh, ice cream. Yeah. Almost. Okay, that's it for this section. The next is the Asian section. We have red onions and tomato beef. Chinese vegetables, sweet and sour chicken, fried rice, teriyaki pork. This is a pork pot stickers. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Okay. And we have sliced barbecue pork, some spring rolls, which are sweet and sour sauce, and some Chinese pork ribs. We do have some steamed rice, which is uh, self-serve. This is the Mongolian grill, where you could pick all of your different vegetables and proteins. And they will grill it up for you right over here, like so. So they have different vegetables. And I think you just have to ask, right, uh, if you want beef. beef. chicken. Yeah, sure. right. And they'll do it for you right over here. This is the Mexican station. What do we have this here? This is the veggie enchiladas. Oh, I think they need the, I need a refill on the veggie yeah. enchiladas. The roasted corn and fried jalapenos. Chicken zapata. Rice and refried beans. Look at that. Beef and bean burrito. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a little yeah. different. I'm a fan of that. Warm tortillas and fajitas. Beef fajitas, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you get your tortillas there. And feeling a little taco, tortilla chips, taco shells, taco meat, chili sauce. Oh, yeah. And if, when you make your tacos or nachos, here's Cheers. all your condiments here. So your uh, cheese, shredded lettuce, onions, tomato, salsa, and sour cream. Here's the Italian section. Of course, we have your assorted different kind of pizzas over here. And they're constantly bringing new pizzas out. Some cheese. And what do we have here? Some meat lovers calzone. And veggie calzone. Garlic bread. Oh yeah, vegetable, yeah. So it's a vegetable and meat lovers. And your chicken parm. We have some marinara sauce and alfredo sauce. Lots of pasta noodles. And bolognese and meatballs. Chicken what? Francais? Francois? Uh, Francois. Francois. Oh, yeah, he owes me so. money. <laughs> what do we have here? Italian sausage and peppers. And also buco. Oh, okay. Wow. I'll try that one out. Yeah, it's kind of fancy for, it uh, is. for buffet, right? This is the salad station. Yeah. They, so they have a wide array of salads. They have a spinach salad, chicken, bacon, ranch salad cups, cucumber salad, Tossed bright salad. 
house salad, mac salad, beet salad, toss chicken salad, BLT salad, wow. BLT salad, potato salad, coleslaw, and Caesar salad. Yeah, they have a lot of different kind of salads over here. We actually kind of have like a live action station, which is kind of cool. It is a meatloaf today. And this is what it looks like. It's a meatloaf and meatloaf right here and chicken wing bar. Wow, it's kind of cool. Wow, right here. Yeah. So I think these are like rotating maybe menus yeah. over here. And then they have a, uh, a little condiment station over mm -hmm. here. We have assorted fresh cut fruit from orange slices, pineapples, honeydew, and cantaloupe. This part is my spot. It's the soup. There's menudo. Let's go look yeah, in here. Yeah, let's take a peek. Menudo. Uh, oh, menudo's oops. in there. Yeah. And here's beef barley. That looks good. White bean chili. Wow, that's yeah, so more. many different Garden soups. Look vegetable at that. soup. Chicken noodle soup. Oh, big noodles oh, yeah. in there, and cream of chicken and corn soup. Oh, that looks good too. Wow, so they have six different kind of yeah. soups over here. Pretty good. This is my spot right here. We have some shrimp a cocktail over here, which are cocktail sauce and lemon. And what do we have here? A liver, liver. Bacon and onions. Yeah, you don't see liver and onions yeah. anywhere, right? Some green beans and country mash. What is Braised this? cabbage rolls. Wow, cabbage rolls. Mm -hmm. And chicken in the pot. Chicken in the pot. Now different. tell me, if this doesn't screen comfort food, I don't know what is. And here's the barbecue station. Yep, here's your peas and carrots. I love peas and carrots. And stuffing. Mm. Braised beef. And mashed potatoes. Yes. And, and then your carveries. Is, yes, the carving station is right next door. We're back at the Carberry station. We have some turkey gravy and brown gravy, some cranberry, honey mustard, and some Dijon mustard. There's the roast turkey, and I think the roast uh, turkey and the chicken is here. And I think it's supposed to be brisket or something over here, right? Can I have some turkey, please? Thank you. Here we have some pork ribs and prime rib, that's what we're here for. Which one do you want, baby? You uh, want prime a... rib, please. And I'm awesome. not sure what this is. Is that brisket? Uh, it could be. I don't know. Is that too raw, babe? You want it to uh, put on the... Can you fire it to, to a medium? Yeah, so they're definitely cut to a medium rare, as you can see. So I just asked them to fire it to a medium. Yeah, and then Aju. We got here at five o'clock and we didn't have a line, which was really nice, but now it's starting to get a little bit busy. The tables are starting to fill up. So the buffet line, even though it's nice and long, it took a little bit of, to get of all of our food. What I have here is I had to try the Oso Broco. I have the roasted turkey, my cranberry, and some mash down here, some mash, some uh, uh, stuffing. stuffing and then some peas and carrots. Yeah, the stuffing looked a little mushy there. It so did, we'll so that'd be see. interesting. And then here, it's completely different. I, ha I have to try the menudo and I put onions in there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and try this out. So I'm cutting my turkey up. It looks dry as heck, but let's go ahead and try it out. Mm. It is dry but I thought it was a lot more dry looking. But it's good, good flavor. Of course, you follow it up with my cranberry. That, right there, turkey, cranberry. That is comfort food right there. I don't need any gravy on it. It has really good seasoning on this turkey breast right here. Let's go ahead and try some of the stuffing. And then they had peas and carrots. The stuffing taste is there, but the mushiness is kind of weird. But the stuffing taste is there. And what else? Oh, and this also boco. They just brought out a fresh new pan of it. Here is the meat, which 
it's a shank, isn't it, baby? I believe so, mm -hmm. yes. Mmm. Very tender. That meat, nice and tender. Kind of reminds me of like a, a beef stew. But of course, when you get the oso boco, you're getting it for that lovely bone marrow in there. So let me get some of that bone marrow out. Oh, that, that's a lot of bone yeah. marrow. Well, when you get Oso Boco, you get the bone marrow with that beef. This is actually very good. I am such a soup person. I didn't know which one, but you know I had to go with my favorite. Here is the menudo. I only get with onions in it. Let's go ahead and try this soup out. Oh, hold on. It's hot. I'm going to wait till this cools off a bit, and then I'll go ahead and try it out for you guys. You saw when they carved that prime rib, it was definitely a medium rare. A little too rare for me, so I asked the uh, carver guy if you could fire this up to a medium. Uh, of course, he's busy, so now it looks like it's more than a medium. <laughs> Could be like a well done now. But let's try it out. Of course, we'll try out the cap section. Favorite part. And a little dip in the au jus sauce right here. Here we go. Pretty consistent. Mm. It has great primary flavor. And I do love the little char on it because it was like on a fire grill when you brought it up to what now I consider a uh, well done. So as far as tenderness, it isn't that tender of a prime rib because even if it was uh, fired up to like a medium well or even a well done, it still should be tender. Uh, overall, it, it's a good prime rib. I wouldn't consider it excellent by, by any means, but it's not bad. And I know a lot of people saying, well, you know, when, when Bill says it's not bad, that means he doesn't like it. Not necessarily true. I will definitely eat this. Uh, it, like I mentioned, it does have good prime rib flavor. I just wish um, it was a little bit more tender, but it's okay. Alrighty, my bite is really cooled off now. Mm. Good chewiness. I love that chewiness of this. It has good flavor to it. It's not spicy at all. I do seem to hit it up with a little bit of lime. And it's good. I get this one again. When I saw meatloaf as their daily special, I had to try it out. I'm a fan of meatloaf. So there we go. Some mashed potatoes, some mushroom gravy, and that meatloaf right at the bottom right there. It looks good. It feels tender. Let's try it out. I know it's pretty hot. Here we go. Meatloaf. That is a very meaty kind of meatloaf. I'm used to like, um, you ever try the uh, Stouffer's frozen meatloaf? Yeah. It's a little bit more, a little more soft, I guess you could say. This is definitely has that ground beef consistency of a meatloaf. It looks dense. Yeah, but it, it is a little bit dense, but it is not dried out at all. Uh, a little bit of that tomato sauce that they put on the outer uh, edge of the meatloaf. So it does have that flavor. It does pick up the mushroom gravy nicely. Would you get it again? Mm, maybe not, but I have to try it. I'm a fan of meatloaf. I'm a meatloaf guy. We have little mini bean and cheese burritos. Here's it right here. Ah, uh, they had a really good cheese bowl over there when it was nice and hot. It kind of cooled down a bit. Let me go ahead and try this out. Mmm. Tasty. I have some meat on the side left over from my taco. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of that meat and that little burro right here. There we go. And I got a little bit of the sour cream. And they have salsas and stuff on the side too. So we're gonna go ahead, that sour cream. Oh, that's good. Nice, simple bean and cheese burrito. That's really good. And of course, you have to get a taco. And you know, 
when you look at tacos, Taco Bell, I love Taco Bell tacos. And it's like, I wish I had a little bit more meat. Since you fill your own meat, you can take as much meat as you want. So I, mine is a very meaty taco. That's some good taco meat. The shell has a little bit on the stale side. They do have nachos, chips as well, so you can put on nachos. But it's good. Even though the little bit chewiness of the shell, I'd actually still both go back and get some more. This is uh, some good taco meat. You're gonna like this one, babe. I'm gonna try it out. This is their chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna add, I love these noodles. I love these really fat egg noodles right there. Now these things are hot. It's hot, but very good chicken noodle soup flavor, you can tell. The soup part is a little bit on the thicker side. Things, I think it just needs just a tad bit, a little bit of pepper and this is a really good tasting soup. They have crackers and everything up there as well if you want some crackers. But I like it just this way. Mm. What's different about this chicken noodle soup? It's very good. What is different about it is you can really taste the celery in here. That's really good. I like it. I had to hit up the Asian station. Pot stickers, the egg roll, these are the sliced pork and some Chinese spare ribs, the sweet and sour chicken, and of course the fried rice. This caught my attention though. They look really, really juicy. Look at that. They look really good. I have, no, I have no idea what the marinade is or, or how it's gonna taste, but here we go. A little bit on the mild flavor. I'm not getting a lot of like spices or anything like that. But the pork is definitely tender. It's pretty good. Here is that sliced pork. Try this one out. Looks really good. It's kind of funny. It's like the flavoring for the uh, Chinese spare rib and the sliced pork is almost the same. It has a, like a very light, I don't know, like an oyster sauce, it's a little sweet glaze on it that's what it tastes like and a little bit of fried rice mm. the rice is a little bit mushy it should be should be more dry here is the sweet and sour chicken So far, that's the best one. It has a very nice, uh, like a sweeter, sweet and sour glaze on it. And the chicken pieces are very tender inside. This is very good here. Wow. And of course, this little spring roll with the sweet and sour sauce. Spring roll, sweet and sour chicken. That's my favorite on this plate. We're fresh back from Italy, so I don't know if it was the smartest move trying the Italian section over here, but I had to. We got the buffet pizza, chicken parmesan, which is something that I never saw in Italy, right? We never saw it over there. Uh, the garlic bread, a lot of people were, were getting this, so maybe it's really good. I don't know, let's just try it. I don't know why everybody was getting this, honestly. <laughs> well, let's try the pizza out. Pepperoni pizza. Looks a little bit burnt on the bottom, but let's, uh, let's go for it. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, one thing left. The chicken... Parmesan. Boy, if I was a betting man, I probably wouldn't 
put too much faith in this one. But you just never know. It could be the surprise of the day. You know, if it wasn't for the fact that the breading is completely mushy now, it has zero crispiness to it. But had it been crispy, I think it would have been decent. But because it's very mushy and kind of soggy, it kind of brought the score down quite a bit. But really, out of the three, I guess the chicken parmesan is the better one of the three. There are a couple things here on the buffet. They have a crepe Suzette. Which they they'll make for you right, right here. And what else? Monte Cristo. Yeah, so it's pretty good because yeah. that's what they have on this side. On the opposite side was the meat loaf and chicken wings. Yes, yes. And so we're going to go actually to the dessert area now. So in the dessert area, they have your soft serve, your no sugar added desserts. All right here. Uh -huh. Your toppings for the soft serve and right. cheesecake pops, peach cobbler, custard, bread pudding. Look at a variety of... Uh, Desserts here from cupcakes, regular cakes, eclairs, pineapple upside down, and cupcakes. It's a collection of gelato and ice creams. They have some pies in the uh, refrigerated case. So I guess you could get some out of here. Yeah, because they have them all sliced up for you right here. <laughs> Dessert time. They had a wide array of uh, cakes and everything, but we decided on the carrot cake. The, when I was getting the gelatos, the guy says, do you like flan? And I said, oh yeah, I like flan. So he gave me some flan. And we have cappuccino gelato and a lemon oh, sorbet. Gelato. gelato. Huh? Wow. We'll okay. see. And uh, what, soft serve? And it's just a regular soft serve. That's for you, babe, with your little bit of hot chocolate and nuts. Yes. So I know flan, upside down, well, I believe there should be caramel underneath, right? So I'm going to loosen this up. And then I'm going to put it, oh yeah, look at that, underneath, or I'm going to put it on my plate. So here we go, loosen that up. I already see those lovely flan juices coming out. Let's go. Is it going to come out? Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, that's actually wow. the way you're supposed to do it. Wow. So pro tip. Loosen it up a bit and then hit it on your plate. Of course, you know I gotta try this one out right here. Flan is like an egg custard, a very, a very uh, kind of creamy egg custard with caramel. Here we go. Mmm, that is delicious. It is. It is not on the sweet side at all. Um, that caramel tastes like it's like brulee or cooks really well. Wow. The creaminess of this flan goes really well with this caramel. And you have to ask for it. They don't have it out at all. And so you have to ask for this one. I get the flan. Mm, I like it. Well, it kind of reminds me of uh, Italy right here. The gelato with the lemon and the cappuccino. Let's try out the cap first. Great, great coffee flavor. I like it because it isn't that sweet and it's a lot more coffee than sweetness. So that, that's very good. And the little lemon. Wow, this is very tart, which I like. It's the kind that, like you said, hits the back of your throat a little bit. Yeah, this is, these are both great flavors. And of course, I can't pass up my traditional hot sundae with uh, the chocolate syrup and the peanuts on here. Do they have uh, just uh, vanilla and chocolate or just one flavor? Only vanilla and chocolate. Oh, vanilla and chocolate. Okay, here we go. This is a swirl. This classic. It tastes like, like a regular soft serve machine um, with the chocolate sundae. It, it, it's guaranteed to be good. Yeah, this is an all-time favorite. 
I can't see anyone not liking this. Last but not least. Yep, I gotta try out this carrot cake. <clears throat> Looks good, we'll see. Good carrot flavor. That's actually good, but it is sweet. Mm. If you have a sweet tooth and you like carrot cake, this is the cake for you. This is really on the sweet side. Is it because of the heavy frosting on top, or just the uh, cake? No, the is frosting. Sweet? I think the cake is sweet. Uh. Mm -hmm. The cake is sweet, and then the frosting just makes it sweeter. It's a good carrot cake, though. It has really good places. That's good places. A lot of good pieces of uh, carrot in there. That's going to be a wrap from the Garden Buffet here at South Point. Yes. I know the big question is, can you get your $25 worth and leave full? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Will you be 100% satisfied? That that depends. Uh, it's, it was a good buffet. Considering how much meals are these days, it is a good buffet. Uh, it has, it's, it's a classic. It's a very classic buffet. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked a lot of the foods. I liked the Mexican food. My favorite was the Oso Boco. I mean, you don't find that even on the high class buffets. You That's don't true. even find that. That's true. And it was, that one was excellent tasting. Um, it has a good amount of desserts. Yeah, it'll hit all of those buffet points that you would want to try. Uh, it has a good selection. Huh, yeah, baby? Of course, mm -hmm. you're not going to find crab legs here. No. And a lot of different carving meats. You're not yes. going to find that. Yes. Be because of its price point. Right. You know? Right. And maybe you'll find that on the Friday because the Friday is their seafood buffet. That's right. That's something different. Yeah. But mm -hmm. for this buffet, I think it was good. Yes. It was a good It was a good buffet. It was good. It was a good revisit. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. it was. Yeah. So uh, we hope we gave you a good snapshot of what it's like if you come here to the South Point Buffet. Mm -hmm. Then you can try it out and, yeah. uh, and tell us in the comments how you like it. Yeah, and you know, it, and I think the, for the majority of everybody who comes to Vegas who hasn't tried this buffet out, give it a try. Um, I think I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be satisfied yes. with this buffet. Yeah, mm -hmm. just don't come here with Bacchanal or Wind Buffet ex expectations in your mind because yeah. again, I mean, those buffets you go for their seafood. This one has um, hardly any. Right. And so if you're not a big seafood person, maybe this is the buffet for you. You yeah. never know. And always keep yeah. in mind, this is a fraction of the other buffet's prices. It is. It yeah. is. Do you have any shout outs? I do. Stan, happy birthday. David M, happy birthday. Megan, happy birthday. Barbara, happy birthday. Ryan, happy birthday. A lot of birthdays, baby. Yes. Christian, happy birthday. Doris, happy birthday. Sebastian Raphael, happy birthday. Stephanie and Lester, happy anniversary. Helene, get well soon. Yes. Uh, ha uh, Denise. Hope for a quick recovery. Mm -hmm. Twee, congrats on your PhD. She has got a PhD. Oh, wow. Nice. And Laura and Thurn, thank you so much for watching. Yes, yes. Now, we, we kind of split up the birthdays, we so uh, it'll be on the next Vegas vlog. Yeah, I had about 25. Yeah, of them, so we kind of so. had to scale down a little bit. We did. Yeah, we did. so uh, yeah. thanks for coming along with us here at the South Point uh, Garden Buffet. We hope you liked it. Yeah, it was good. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Until our next one, we'll catch you guys on the next one, which is tomorrow. Miles video. Yes, it is, baby. Stop. <laughs>